And I'm Guillaume Canet, and uh, you're going to watch the movie uh, Love Me If You Dare. The Greek and, uh, version of the DVD. Uh, and we're really proud to be in this film. <laughs> Usually the love story that you can read or you can uh, see in, in films are um, not classical, but it's, it's always uh, something like uh, really formatted. And um, what I li really liked in this love story is that it was a little bit decaled and it was a little bit um, cynical and more uh, uh, perverse, you know, and uh, in a way more cruel. And that's 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 why I, I really like uh, the part and uh, the story because uh, you see not to speak those two people who's trying to to prove their love in in another way, you know, just to um, because they can they can help because they started in the wrong way, not in the wrong way, but they started as really good friends, and um, so that that's that's why I really like this story because it was a little bit more original than um, some other um, com uh, you know, romantic uh, comedy. You said everything. <laughs> yes, as you say, it's, uh, it's original. And uh, when I read the script, uh, I felt that I didn't read or seen uh, a story like that before. So that's why I wanted to do the movie. Mm. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va très bien et vous? Ça va. Bon, je peux t'inviter au resto maintenant? <laughs> non. We played on the set a little bit at uh, this game. Give me a small list. And. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's Should start. I say? Yes. Okay, she had to, to take a picture of her dick. No, 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 no. The beginning of the story, please. <laughs> I asked him one, uh, one morning, I gave him the Polaroid and I asked him to bring me back uh, the picture of an ass. But I, I made a mistake. I should have said a girl's ass. And uh, after one second, he brought me uh, a, a male ass. And he said, OK, now you have one hour to bring me back a dick with your hand in the picture in a way so to... So, so I can be sure it's her, you know, to yes. picture. Yes. <laughs> and it was one of the worst Unless... hour of my life. And but I, I did it. Because, and I said one hour because if she's not doing it in an hour, yes. she has to be naked on the set and walking naked on the set. <laughs> so, um, and she did it with a small dick, but she did it. <laughs> It was him. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was not mine. And uh, but she did some. Uh, I had to um, also to get the number of a waiter in the restaurant <laughs> and flirt with him all night long. I mean, flirt, not flirting, like uh, kissing. Uh, that was a guy. That, that was a guy. <laughs> and um, and uh, because I'm not. Um, I really like uh, girls, <laughs> but I'm not really a specialist in men. So that was really tough for me to say really nice things to this waiter and to get his number. And also embarrassing. Uh, really embarrassing, and she was laughing so bad, I can tell you. Tiens, sois prudent dans tes études. T'essayes de me faire mal. He has... Uh... A small dick. <laughs> <laughs> this fantastic imagination, <laughs> but he is very um, secret. It's a secret he guy. Keeps he a lot doesn't of talk. From you. No, no. Uh, it's I mean about the work. Mm -hmm. He doesn't talk too much. So sometimes we needed informations, and it was hard to have uh, the informations we need. Stop me! Stop 
It was just about, uh, you know, the communication uh, between a director and an actor to know where we are going with the story or the scene, especially uh, when you, you're doing a movie with this kind of um, uh, visual universe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and sometimes it was a bit hard for us because you know, it's a love story. We are talking about feelings and uh, emotions. And um, you can do something beautiful and you will touch people, but, but you can also uh, do something like... Uh, alors là, tous les mots euh, que je connais en français, je ne sais pas les traduire. Hein, genre mièvre à l'eau de rose. Tu vois yeah, very mieux, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, really, uh, I mean, when you are talking really about water, you know, <laughs> <laughs> when you are talking about feelings, up, um, comment je vais dire ça? Alors là, c'est l'enfer. I you, you said it. We under, I, I think under, we understood. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah? The, mm -hmm. the, you, you know, it was he, he was not he, he was not giving any uh, explanation mm -hmm. about yeah, because the he scenes. has all the film in his head mm -hmm. and and us it was difficult for us because we were scared that the film is will will, will go in, Turn, a, uh, in a ridiculous wrong, yeah in a ridiculous way. direction mm -hmm. you know like yeah. you know when you're supposed to love each other is and say some stuff and everything if you don't mm -hmm. know that behind this it's going to be like a huge visual who's going to put the film out of a realistic story you know you can be scared that whole all you are saying right now, you know, in the scene, are going to be like really naive and stupid, you know. Yes, naive. So <laughs> that's what I was. So that was that was tough for us because he has all the film in his head because he's really talented. That's not a question of that, but it's just that sometimes we needed more information to be sure that we're not going to be like. Uh, Stupid on the screen, you know. Yeah, stupid kissing uh, ourselves on the top of a car, for example. <laughs> After ten times, that was you a say. Fantastic scene. Yes, mm -hmm. but when you are shooting it, mm -hmm. uh, you wonder if it's gonna work. So you didn't have the control of the whole scene, or um... no? Us, no. Mm -hmm. We n we never have. Uh, and we shouldn't have the film mm. control. You, and you, you shouldn't you, have. You shouldn't yes. have the control of a scene. You know, when you're doing a film with the director, you should mm. trust him mm. and be sure that um, no matter what, no matter what he's gonna ask you, you have to do it. But no matter what he's asking, he asking you, you have to you have to understand what he wants exactly. And if mm. you don't know, you just do it without knowing what you are doing. So that's that's what was complicated for us. C'est très bien ce que je veux dire. Non, je sais pas. Dis-le. Um, being myself. <laughs> and what about you? Um, accept. Uh, everything of me, as Guillaume say, and of uh, the other. I'm writing right now a second film mm -hmm. that I'm going to direct. And uh, I just finished a film called Narco by Tristan Roy and Gilles Lelouch, mm -hmm. who are two young directors. It's a first time movie for them. And uh, first time directing, I mean. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have two films uh, um, to shoot this year. Mm -hmm. uh, Schoenderf Frédéric Schoenderfer and uh, Christian Carrion. Mm -hmm. Is it not scary to work with uh, newcomer directors? No, I, you know, if you see uh, my uh, filmography, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing uh, only a first time uh, director. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm, I mean, I'm doing first time, uh, 
film each time. Yeah, I mean, I, I've done a, a lot of first <laughs> film. <laughs> <coughs> like Jan Samuel. Mm -hmm. And, and me, uh, I'll do the promotion for Big Fish and then go on holidays. Mm, that's great. W do you have any plans for a special place? Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, come join us. <laughs> no, I don't know yet. Yeah.